Greetings, friends and acquaintances. I'm Arix, and I am playing a relatively unknown point-and-click game called Simon the Sorcerer. I say relatively unknown because, well, it is. Okay, um, yeah, well, I just skipped over the intro because I'm not what we call a clever type person. But we can pretty much just get it from this note. Don't use it. Look, look, look at the damn thing. Do you really want me to read it all again? Oh yes, basically, um, well, I can't turn subtitles on, on this game, unfortunately, and somewhat more unfortunately, my recording equipment doesn't like to record sound from the speakers for whatever reason. So yeah, that's going to be bad, and I'm going to try to read these lines, well, not read them, but repeat them as they're being said to me by Simon himself. But yeah, this could be difficult. Okay, let's give it a go and see how it all turns out. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso. Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Libre. P.S. Before you can use the spellbook, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern to help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Okay, well that was actually kind of difficult. But yeah, so we have a postcard which we can use to save and load. And we have the map which we can use to speed around into different locations that we've already visited. We haven't visited anywhere yet, so we can't really use it except to go to the village that we're already in. Okay, so there's a couple of things to do in this cottage. First, we need to open the drawer, which, and we'll find a pair of scissors in there. We're going to grab them, and we're going to find some whimsical and magical hairdressing scissors. Okay, we're also going to grab the magnet. Okay, what's this magnet? It's a fine example of its kind. Why, yes it is. It's a horseshoe shape with red tips and everything. Okay, there's some other things in here. I've a fridge, got mystic tapestry, the doggy and the wizard stuff, but it's all quite useless, so we're not really going to bother. I'm going to head straight outside and see what's behind the cottage. It's some magical compost. Yay! Well, this is quite useless at the moment, but we will be coming back here later with a certain item, so we're going to head off again, and head off this way now. Okay, now there's two things we need in here. First of all, rope. Yes, if you've played any adventure game, you'll know that you always want rope. Rope is always helpful. Okay, look at the rope for us, Simon. It's a fine example of its kind. Why, yes it is. Also like the magnets. Hey, there's one other thing on this screen that we need. Can you see what it is? Clapper. We need the clapper. Yes, this game can be a bit of a pixel bitch at times, but luckily there's a little feature on it where you can press F10 and it will highlight all the hotspots on the screen. So, yeah, it's, unfortunately I can't use it because F10 will cause my recording equipment to stop. It's kind of a bitch, but luckily I've already played through this game, so I know what I need to do anyway. It's just a little thing to keep in mind. Anyway, this is Dodgy Geezer we don't care about. A shop that we don't care about because we don't have any money yet. We're going to head off and onwards, onwards and upwards. And we're going to find... The Drunken Druid Tavern. Apparently the place is called the Drunken Druid. Well, yes it is. Open the door, head inside couple more things we need in here first. We're going to pick up these matches. Again, kind of a pixel witch. But yes, we're going to need those. And we're also going to use the scissors on this dwarf. Why are we going to use the scissors on the dwarf? So that we can steal his beard, obviously. That's what I always use scissors for. Why are we stealing this dwarf's beard? It will all become clear soon enough. Okay, so now we're going to head this way. And what are we going to find? The wizards, of course! Hey, let's chat to these wizards. Excuse me. Uh, my name's Guybrush, and I want to be a mighty pirate. Oh, like, we bait be wizards, bain't we? No, we be humble farmers, like. 
I bain't be being no more magical than a potato. That's that's great. You have absolutely feeble accents, fellas. Are you saying we be fakes? Like, yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? Okay, you have awful accents. Clipso told me to look for four wizards disguised as country bumpkins. Well, actually she just told you to look for some wizards in a tavern. Didn't say anything about four, didn't say anything about country bumpkins. But I digest, okay. When I move my mass painter of you, oh yes, this game likes to break the fourth wall at times. And it's a hunch. Well, we're going to break the fourth wall because that's actually the only option that works. Yes, it does. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What do you want to speak to us about, anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? Ha 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 you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. Um, no. Listen to me for a second. Make me a wizard or I'll cry. You can't be a wizard. Not old enough. Um, we're going to be a wizard. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the something or other before they can be properly something. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, you see. We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical staff somewhere hidden in this area. We like you to find some the we want you to find the stuff. I'm good at this. I'm so good at this it physically hurts me a little bit. Okay, anyway, what does this stuff look like? It looks like a staff with a ball on the end. And then I get made a wizard. Yes you do. Any ideas where it is? It was buried with a necromancer. Ooh no problem. We look forward to your return. Uh, ew, he sounded kind of poncy there anyway. Okay, so that's all we can do in here. We'll come back here when we have the stuff. There are a couple of other things we can do. We can talk to the Valkyries. We can talk to the Barman. But it's all kind of useless, so we're not going to bother. Well, actually, we will come back later on to screw with the Barman. But that's all we can do for the time being. So we're just going to head straight on outside. And head this way. Oh yes, the looping in this town is kind of weird, because if we go this way, where do you think we're going to end up? Back at the blacksmith! Woo! Yay! Okay, we're going to bypass the blacksmith. We're not going to talk to the blacksmith because he doesn't want to talk to us. He's too engrossed in his work, and he won't talk to us if we try. So, now we're going to head off this away. And what do we find here? Oh, more stuff. I'm going to grab this ladder here. Why, la Simon, how are you going to store that ladder? In your hat, of course, as you store everything else. And now we're going to break into this house and steal their valuables. Like every good adventure game hero. More pixel bitching! Can you see what we need in this? Is it the suspicious herbs? Regardless of how suspicious they are, no. Is it the moose head? No. Is it the... 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 stuff and things? There's nothing more. Anyway, we need this cold remedy hmm interesting tell us about the cold remedy sign it's super powered elephant cold remedy okay well we'll keep that in mind in case we find any elephants with a cold so I'm gonna pick up this specimen jar up here empty specimen jar and another quintessential adventure item the empty jar Okay, so we have a jar, a ladder, and a rope. We're pretty much good to go with an adventure game. And what's along this way, Simon? Why, it's a chocolate truffle door. Why, do you want to eat your way through the chocolate truffle door? I could never get through all that. I, through all that. I bet you could, you pansy. There's also a beehive here, which, as you can pretty much guess, we're going to need some smoke and a veil for. But anyway, that's all we can do in the town for now. We'll be coming back later with other stuff. So we're going to come back here, because that's the quick way of doing things. And I see we're approaching 10 minutes. So we're just going to head out into the forest. 
and as you can see the forest is a goddamn maze so we're going to be going through this next time but for now we're going to save yes I tried doing this earlier but it screwed up something fierce so I've done it again I've been Arix and you've been People and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Simon the Sorcerer